Today, I'll be talking about Mario Kart Tour. If anything upsets you the most, it might be a battle pass, in which this game does have. But, it's completely free. But you get better rewards if you buy the premium membership and don't fall for anything. Including with the ba battle pass, there's even an item shop. What's next? Battle Royale? I have no idea. They have battle, but there is currencies, two currencies. One you have to pay for, that's really rare, and the other one you can just get pretty easily with coins. They refresh almost every day, with there being new characters and new carts and gliders to buy in and me suits. The token shops and that Princess Peach costume, I bet it would be a lot, but there's three shops in total including challenges that will give you badges that you can display while you're waiting on a game just to flex how good of a player you are. Look at how good I am. Look at how much of a life I don't have. <laughs> That's a lot of life I don't have. There's even a wide variety of characters with there being three rarities. Gold, silver, and like platinum or slash diamond. There's a lot of good characters in this game. Many, many, many variants too. I wish they added this to the real game because, well, there'd be a lot more customization. They literally have Poochie as a character, Dixie Kong as a character. Remember Astronaut Toad on the online waiting screen? He's a character. And there's almost a cart from every single game. And with there being new ones, yet again with three rarities, most having variants too. I prefer the carrot cart. It's the best one yet. There is no stats in this game. It just really depends on the character you choose. It's it's all combo system, basically. Now, the things with the least customization has got to be the gliders, but they have some of the most unique ones yet. I have a surfboard as a glider. I got an eggshell as a glider. I got a magnifying glass as a glider. Heck, I got wings as a glider. They have so many amazing gliders in this game. Now, to the actual racing. There is a crap ton of cups, but instead of having new cups for every single one, they have variants that will add either a different route, maybe new ramps, different gimmick of it, and it's a bonus point system. You get bonus points, and depending on the combo you pick, it'll get you higher points. This game doesn't matter on your placement, really. It's the amount of points you can get in a race. Look in the corner. It raises already. My character already gets points at the start of the game. If for almost every perfect action that you do, you will start to get points. One thing that makes me a little sad is that you automatically trick off of every ramp you get. But, here's the thing, if you can manage to hit these ramps in a timely fashion, your points will become a combo, and the more, the higher your combo gets, the more points will multiply, and you'll get a lot more rewards for hitting a higher combo. You'll want, you want to hit a lot of combos, but don't make mistakes depending on the cars you can get a longer time because normally in between a combo it'll give you some time to wait in order to perform your next action it doesn't have to be straight away you see i hit a bomb there completely ends my combo but you can easily start one back up by either collecting coins hitting ramps or hitting tricks you literally will get points for driving off a ramp and be careful because this thwomp is the bane of every player's existence it literally had to reset me so I could get hit again. And I had to use a ticket. Also, yeah, I forgot. There's tickets in this game that will let you automatically roll your slots as if you hit an item box mid-game. But you can only use one of these. And you cannot pay for these either. You can only find them in the daily shop using coins and they're not pay to, it's not pay to win. Now, since I'm naturally just good at the game, I'm pretty sure I'll at least get third place or second place. Or I could just completely get left behind and be stuck in third place too, that's fine. The, the game tricks you into playing with AI. In reality, kind of players in their place, but there is an online multiplayer system that you will get destroyed in because once you realize you think you're good at the game, you go online, you're completely wrong. This is me playing with people in real life. It's hectic. Really hectic. These people have good aim, good everything. Not to mention, like, they're just smart. They know what to do. It's really hard to play online, so I recommend sticking to um, normal gameplay until you're ready for that stuff.
Now you get to watch my peak gameplay of playing the new track Athens Dash, which I'm pretty sure will be coming to the new Mario Kart Tour tracks and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Since I already know the layout, my family won't see what can hit them. It was a red shell. There are, in fact, missions that require special things. This time, it's versus Mega Bowser. The car will be huge, Bowser will be huge, it will have special items. And your goal is to beat him and get to the end of the track before he does. Now, here's the part. It's balls hard. Balls hard. If you touch him, you spin out. He, can, he gets an automatic speed boost randomly if you're too far ahead of him. Look, he already hit me in the race just started. He'll get automatic items, not to mention they're lying to you too, because he will be able to spawn items whenever he wants. But this completely will save me. There's a frenzy mode. I forgot to mention that. Frenzy mode will allow you to keep using the same item repeatedly and repeatedly. It will possibly do this, like to Bowser, or you get a huge gap because he keeps running into the bananas that I put into a thin area. But look, if you look on the map, he's automatically getting a speed boost to catch up to him. He will be slower one moment, then super fast. He can spawn items whenever he wants. He's a big cheater, and I hate that about this game. Look, then he will automatically pass you in less than two seconds. So you gotta be very careful and very fast. I don't know if this is where I see it, but yeah. He used all of his items already, look. I'm pretty sure he's gonna use spawn his item really soon. Breast kits are awareness. I forgot about that. Sorry, that's a Discord server I'm in. Ooh, I good, but watch out for my own weapons. It's so sad. Bowser is getting his speed boost and starting to catch up with me, but look. He should probably run into any of these, but I'm pretty sure he completely avoids it. I think they may have provided invincibility, but look, watch. See? He spawns an item out of nowhere, despite the item boxes not happening. And also, he's already used three items, so I'm pretty sure he spawns one in here before he even grabs one. Yep, see? He just threw one at me. So it's clear this guy is about... This guy literally passes me at the last second, because he's able to spawn items in every single time I get close to him. This game sucks. I would punch it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will actually be posting late night burger making in a few minutes. And when I mean a few minutes, I mean in like maybe an hour or so. It's this new Roblox game where I run a burger shop and you get to chill and enjoy. Alright, see ya. Don't do drugs.